our fragrances for me. I love smelling good, feeling good, and adding a little bit of extra sparkle to my day, and fragrances are an easy way to pull that off. But I don't just wear fragrances to make myself happy, even though that's mostly the reason. I also love when the people around me enjoy the fragrances I'm wearing, and they give me all the compliments. In today's video, I'm going to share the 10 most complimented fragrances in my collection, because these are crowd pleasers, y'all. So if you're looking for something that not only you will love, but the people that are close to you are going to love here are some options you might want to get into so let's get into it hi i'm janique and i keep a mental tally of all the fragrances in my collection that get frequently complimented and because of that i have a very scientific video for you today one of the things i noticed when i started putting my list together was that the fragrances that men often complimented were very different from the ones that the women in my life complimented and so i essentially have two lists here for you top five most complimented by the men's and top five most complimented from my girlies and that is what i'm going to share with you today we're going to square them off who has a better taste here that question is for y'all and i'd love for you to leave it down in the comment section which list you liked better if you like these kinds of videos you love a perfume review a perfume list a perfume ranking don't forget to subscribe i would really appreciate it and if you've already subscribed thank you so much for coming back being here i really appreciate you supporting this channel and now Let's get into it. We got time to act this. You don't know what you're doing to me. Let me go. In the number five spot, we have Angel Nova from Mugler versus Jean Paul Gaultier's La Belle Le Parfum. Both giving incredibly sexy vibes, just in slightly different ways. Can you guess which one is a favorite for the guys and which one I get most compliments from women about? You can maybe guess, and it is Angel Nova is far more popular with these men's out here. It really is. This is the date night fragrance. It's a very sexy, sweet fun flirty fragrance with a little bit of a little edge to it so let's get into what's in here so this is raspberry and lychee tropical smelling a little bit tart really sort of airy maybe even a little watery in the sweetness it's very candy-esque without being too heavy too jammy too thick it's just very crisp in what it is giving now in the mid you have a very young rose to help balance everything else give it a little bit of dimension give it a little bit of floral energy and in the the base we have akagala wood and we have a little bit of benzoin now how this reads when the fragrance dries down is that it's very heavily musky like a little bit of a dark musk in here that is how those two combine to add a little body to this fragrance now that base helps this fragrance to keep going and going it lasts over 12 hours easy one of my most like longest lasting sweet fragrance and it was really surprising the longevity in this one so very flirty sexy pretty in what it is giving and i'm not surprised so many guys just absolutely fall head over heels for this one so La Belle Le Parfum, the original is a bigger hit with the guys, hands down easy. Maybe if I had done a top 10 just for guys, it would be in the number six spot because that one gets a bunch of compliments because it is white florals and a sweet, juicy, summery pear with some vanilla and tonka. You cannot miss with a combination like that. But this one, I find myself getting way more compliments on by women. Men don't compliment this one at all. So let's talk about this one. So it still has that vanilla, tonka, jasmine. The jasmine in here is a lot more cutting it is a lot greener it is a lot um more pronounced it is not shying away and that very sharp green jasmine balances out this like marmalade-esque pear it is like reduced down with sugar it's sweeter it is heavier it is a little bit sticky it feels like it's contradicting itself because we have this beautiful balance happening such a sexy fragrance and makes me feel really sexy when i put it on even if the guys don't appreciate it as much and likes the softer prettier version but i will say these fragrances both angel nova and la belle la parfum are these sweet floral fragrances just very texturally different and i do find guys like that airier flirtier sweeter vibe versus the more manita like rare energy you get from something like la belle la parfum in the number four spot i feel like we have two very different fragrances we have carolina herrera's good girl and we have pro 
Prada Candy Kiss. Very different vibes from these fragrances in my opinion. One is giving church girl, the other one is giving the club at 2 a.m. <laughs> so can you guess which one the ladies love and the which one the men love? Can, can you guess? Well, if you guess that Candy Kiss is far more popular with these guys, you would be right. And I'm always surprised by that. But there is definitely a contingent of guy out here that really prefer these very stripped back traditional fragrances. So what is this? It is orange blossom, it is musk, and it's a little bit of vanilla. That's all that's it. And I often find that guys will really go for these very traditional floral fragrances just a little bit of rose with some musk a little bit of tuberose with a little bit of musk and that's it and there's nothing else to the fragrance really straightforward really soft really pretty nothing that's really overbearing nothing really using contemporary notes a lot of the gourmands and things a lot of guys i know love these very straightforward traditional fragrances and every single time i wear this i will have one or two guys complimenting me on how good I smell how addicted they are to this smell and I'm always surprised because it feels very very simple but I think simple just works for some people flip side y'all <laughs> good girl is a very much a party fragrance it is a party fragrance it feels like a good time it feels like you're early to mid 20s just out in these streets living your best life now there are so many notes in this one bottle it's a little bit wild i'm not gonna lie this is coffee a bergamot there's jasmine there's road rose there's oris there is musk <laughs> there is so much happening in this one fragrance it is a little wild but mostly what you're getting is a little bit of a citrus opening not too sharp not too sour then giving way to a bit of sweetness most of the floral work in here is coming through from white florals with a touch of rose that oris is doing work in here making this fragrance very powdery especially as it dries down down and we get a little bit of sweetness from the vanilla we also get a little bit of like dimension and darkness from the coffee this feels like a fun time now i wear this out at night and every time i do there are going to be women around just being like yo you smell so good tell me about that fragrance and they're always surprised by how accessible it is how it's everywhere that it's like a very popular fragrance because i really do think this smells different on everybody and how your body chemistry works with it is how your body chemistry works with it and you sort of pull those very many notes in different ways and like i said on me it reads like ultra feminine a little bit sweet a little bit tart very very powdery and very very sexy very pretty so here's another one that's super popular with the ladies really dynamic and lovely fragrance that we do tend to shit on because it's been out for a while it's been popular for a while but i still do think it deserves its flowers in the number three spot are two fragrances that aren't that different from one another at least on paper they read pretty similarly and it's always surprising how much one is more popular with men and one is more popular with women and there are Guerlain's Mon Guerlain the original and this one is Leave Intense from YSL both beautiful fragrances that mix together white florals like jasmine lavender some vanilla and some sort of superfluous notes that we will get into but I'm always shocked by how much men love this one how much women love this one and let's get into it now this fragrance very similar to something like Burberry Goddess mixes together vanilla and lavender however the lavender in this one is really pulled back it is not a star player it's they're just adding a little bit of a dimension to the fragrance which is really really beautiful most of the work in here is being done by a very soft and beautiful jasmine that's made even softer by a little bit of iris it helps to soften the fragrance, makes it feel a little bit fluffy and really feminine, really beautiful and incredibly, incredibly versatile. Just a stunning everyday fragrance that you, everyone's going to love on you when they hug you. You just smell just really beautiful, really pretty. They cannot help it. Now with Leave Intense, we ratchet up the vanilla sweetness. So this feels a lot heavier in the sweetness. We also ratchet up the lavender in here. It is far more pronounced in this one. So instead of the white florals leading like jasmine, I think there's orange blossom in this one as well. We, we have instead the vanilla and the lavender taking, just running out front and going away with this. And on top of that, this fragrance has a little bit of ambergris and a vetiver in the base to add a little bit of smokiness and darkness to the fragrance, making it feel a little bit sexier and more mysterious. Now you may already be aware, it's not just a Lieb Intense. It's a Lieb Intense, Lieb Le Parfum, the original Lieb, it don't matter 
if you're wearing leave these men want you they just do i don't know what it is that's in leave that are making these men just like fall over themselves but it is really really a thing and they don't seem as interested in mongrel law maybe it's a little bit too soft maybe it isn't dark enough but it's like a pretty soft feminine fragrance and this is a little bit more aggressive and the guys seem to love that more if you're enjoying the video and this is your kind of thing and you love a perfume review don't forget to subscribe i would really appreciate it and you'd be awesome for doing so now let's get back to the video in the number two spot i have two fragrances that couldn't be any more different and i think really signal what guys like on women and what women like on each other and it's none other than burberry her elixir one of my most complimented of the year hands and feet above some of the others already on this list like seriously i cannot wear this without mm, getting complimented and the other is club de nuit imperial from armav along with delina delina exclusive that sort of collection of fragrances and notes together also getting a lot of uh, a lot of compliments now can you guess who compliments what do the men love burberry her elixir or not did you guess if, I think you probably guessed right. This one is far more popular with women. I swear, I get yelled at every time I wear this. And I think there's something about the sillage of this fragrance that hits you later. Because I'm usually like half a block away walking past somebody before I get someone screaming at me about what I'm wearing, how I smell good. Really just like sweet, fun vibes. I love when women just like scream at you on the streets. Be like, oh my God, you smell so good. I love that. That's fun for me. It's always a little bit of a kiki when they ask me what I'm wearing and this fragrance always does it incredibly well with women no this is a very bombastic rose fragrance a little bit loud a little bit extra it opens up really sour i get that rhubarb that classic delina opening that rhubarb in the opening we get some marshmallowiness in the base in this one some vanilla heavy vanilla in this one really sweet nice balance of sour sweet and floral together just not taking any presents um prisoners and being really really loud no i've already talked at length about this fragrance giving all kinds of descriptive like adjectives and things in my most recent top 10 arabian fragrances of 2023 video which i will link so if you want to hear a bit more about club de nuit imperial and why i love it so much you'll hear about it in that video just know that women stay complimenting this one every time now different story here the men love this one the men love this fragrance so what is this it is strawberry milkshake basically is strawberry milk it is basically a very creamy vanilla a very sweet strawberry some white florals like jasmine and just a little tip a little tops of like dimension and a little bit of nuance to the fragrance but it is mostly a very creamy strawberry sweet thick heavy fragrance that feels really cozy and lovely now i love wearing this especially during winter when i'm all bundled up somebody gets close and you smell like a strawberry drink they get real excited and i get a lot of compliments from guys on this one as i do on a lot of the sweet fragrances that i wear they especially like the thick creamy sweetness of this one and they stay complimenting it and i love that in the number one spot are two fragrances that I think are incredibly pretty, but the first time I tried them, I wasn't blown away. And it took wearing them out of the house to really convince me they were full bottle worthy and that they were exciting enough to add to my collection because yes, I'm a little thirsty for these compliments and these got me the compliments. And the first one is Jimmy Choo, I Want You. And the next one is Coral Fantasy from Valentino. This is part of the Donna Born in Roma line. As you can see, I have pulled, picked up a full bottle of this because I am waiting to do so. Maybe in about February when the sales sales start hitting, but I will definitely pick up a full bottle of this because, like I said, thirsty. So let's talk about this one. Do you think the women or the men love this one more? Think about it. Think about it. It's the latest. It's the latest, definitely. Although guys do like this one as well, very, very, very much. It would be in the top ten for guys as well. Now this is a fragrance that is very classic in a lot of ways. It's white florals like jasmine 
with fruit like peach, soft, round, pretty, nothing too sharp or sour or in your face, just freshness, sweetness, really elegant, really pretty, incredibly versatile. You can wear this to work, date nights, nights out with friends, you can wear it to run errands. It works no matter what. And it just plays on people's skin chemistry in a really lovely and beautiful way. Now I know peach doesn't work for everybody, but it really works for me and I really do enjoy how supple and summery peach smells and in this with that white floral backing it just makes it even prettier and I absolutely love this one and get a lot of compliments from other women whenever I wear it the next one I'll talk about is Coral Fantasy. Now, I always take myself back to being in Las Vegas and literally being chased down to t for a guy to tell me I smell good or having doors opened for me or guys walking behind me to just sort of walk up and say, just FYI, you smell really good. That was my experience with Coral Fantasy. And I will tell you, I was shocked by that. I thought this was a pretty tropical smelling fragrance. I think it's kiwi, maybe pears in here. I don't know what else. It just smells like a tropical fruit drink very crisp candy sweet and very happy lively bubbly and just a really lovely one very straightforward in what it's giving there they say there are things like ambrette and musk mallow in here to give a bit of muskiness muskiness but it just feels like a very musky candied fragrance to me and that kiwi is coming through and being really sweet so a little bit tartness it is a very pretty one and guys seem to fall head over heels in love with this and they think I'm doing way more than I'm doing whenever I wear this fragrance. They think I'm performing magic or something. But I will say Coral Fantasy was not the winner I saw coming until I started taking it on vacation with me and it smelled like a vacation so I wanted it with me and I got all the compliments to boot making myself feel even better while I was, you know, on my little trips y'all. So that's everything. The 10 most complimented fragrances in my collection hands down from both men and women because we want compliments from everybody. Now take a look at the lineup. I list the fragrances on both sides. Let me know who you think put together the better lineup, men or women. I would love to know, are they better at picking fragrances for us or are we better at picking fragrances for ourselves? Which lineup would you want? Let me know. I would love to hear all about it. Now if you enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe, do the things if you fucking hated this video like comment subscribe do the things also again i am janique i'm thirsty thirsty for these compliments and i will stay stacking fragrances that get me them so let's come back for the next one it'll be a fun one bye y'all you have to watch it all fall down